I'm Nathan, I'm 34 years old, and I'm a scavenger. I get a rush off finding things. Ooh, green glass. Jokingly, I say I have ADOS. Attention deficit, ooh, shiny. Sweet, I'll yeah. take it, yeah. I'm Kathy, Nathan's mother. Hmm. It's just something about the shiny things he likes. Shiny rocks, uh, ball caps, anything shiny. Mm, not under there. I've actually like lost track of all the stuff that I have. It's always like Christmas when you open a box. I'm like, I forgot I had that. So many things. I mean, just so many things. If I listed all the collections that I have, we'd be here for a while. I have a lot of Hot Wheels. I love glass. I have a lot of puppets. I've always loved rocks. Troll dolls. I have raccoon penises. Bon penis bones, penis bones. I love everything. I don't know why I do what I do. I am Ronald and Nathan is my son. Nathan is definitely looking for a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. My partner's been saying for the past two years, if you don't get this place cleaned up, I'm out of here. But last night, he's done with me. Until I get this stuff out, I don't think that we could move forward with our relationship. Nathan was five or six when we divorced. It's, it was very hard. It was very difficult. I started scavenging to deal with tension at home. I filled the void in my life with stuff. The church that I grew up in, I loved everyone there. And they turned their back on me. My Christian faith teaches me that homosexuality is wrong. I have a sister-in-law who is a member of the church family. She did say, turn or burn, Nathan. Turn or burn. Turn or burn, Nathan. His dad and stepmother was telling Nathan that he was going to go to hell and die with AIDS. Um, just very upsetting. He is going to be evicted if he doesn't clean up the house. I could lose my family. I'm going to lose my partner. I'm going to lose the house. This is the lowest I've ever been in my life. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Standalyn Robertson, a certified professional organizer. I really want to challenge you on why some of the things you're keeping, you're keeping. I don't know if it'll be clothes or collectibles, but there will be some challenges. The doctor and I want to really team up with you and your family to help you through this process. From my perspective, I think this is going to be important to have a lot of conversation. There have been a lot of things that perhaps may not have been said. Nathan is angry. Nathan is, has been holding a tremendous amount of resentment towards his father. But until he begins getting rid of the emotional hoard, nothing's going to change. He's just going to continue to do what he's been doing. Okay. 
So let's start. You want? We'll just yep. start here. Keep and three keep. Okay. In the rest of these, donate. If this was this easy, why are we here? It's not easy for me. I'm just trying to be strong. One keep. See, it's getting a little harder. I'm not gonna get crabby though. Nathan is ready. This is what hoarding can look like when you're young. It's all gonna be donate. He's aware of his situation and he's willing to do the hard work. Donate, donate. 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 <laughs> Piranha. Okay, that's scary looking. <laughs>then I want you to tell your father what it is that you are really holding on to. Do you think being gay is a sin? Yes, to me it is. But can I judge someone? I can't. But I, don't, I can't heal myself if I can't know that I'm okay being who I am. Nathan. I accept you the way you are. Will you accept me the way I am? It's not accepting. I'm not asking you to change. I think you're asking me to change. Is that what you're after, him to change his convictions? Yeah, probably. You don't have to have agreement on ideals to get along. If you're going to have deeper connections with your father and with your family, you're going to have to accept you 1,000%. You don't have to have the consent of anyone. <laughs> and it shouldn't make you feel bad. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. This is so pretty. I was called into the room because Nathan has had a problem with his dad because of his sexuality. I've just wanted dad to accept who I am. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're gay. It doesn't matter. We're all different people. But that doesn't mean we love you any less. But there's so much wisdom there and so much love for you. If you really want to live and not just c continue to exist, you got to let it go. The issue is self-acceptance. Ronald accepting Ronald as he is and Nathan accepting Nathan as he is. That's the real healing. That's the real transformation. What is your decision with all of these items on this table? Uh, every bit of it needs Excellent. to go. Yep. All, of all of it? All of it. All of it. Ron, let's all donate. Trash, probably. Nathan has gotten rid of many of the things that have held him stuck in very childlike and immature behaviors. Donate? Yep. Nathan is finally growing up. Wow. This is amazing transformation. I mean, there's so much clear space. When this began, everyone had tears, tears of sadness, tears of shame, tears of guilt. But they're all radiating with a very beautiful glow now. It's like the weights have been lifted off of each and every one of their shoulders. Holy cow. Very nice. What I like about this room, I feel like it's not a child's room. This room belongs to a man. That was kind of the first thought I had when I walked in. Mm -hmm. You could see him almost like stand a little taller. For my family to, to come and help me with this, for y'all to come and help me, it's just really a message of love. I saw my dad's heart. 
And I saw my mom's heart and I saw my brother's heart warm too. And this was really a beautiful, beautiful experience for me. It's something I will never, never, ever forget. I'm proud of you. Big group hug. <laughs> everybody, everybody. Oh. Please, Pookie, don't bite me. <laughs> Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.